Market to Market is everywhere you are. Subscribe to Market to Market on YouTube, find us on the PBS video app to stream on demand, and add our three podcasts on your favorite podcasting app. Bones and all the fixins left over from holiday feasts will ring out the new year differently across California as state-mandated food waste recycling takes effect. According to state officials, the 75% reduction target has never been attempted at this scale. The goal is to actually reduce methane emissions and other short-lived climate pollutants. Uh, now, methane is released when we put organic waste into landfills. A lot of the organic waste that we put in landfills is actually food waste. Researchers at the state and federal level say 40% of food is wasted in the U.S., with 15% of the nation's methane emissions tied to rot from landfills. And this material gets marketed for um, agricultural use, and we also have programs for residents to come out here and get compost. Environmental lobbyists counter only 35 of the Golden State's roughly 200 composting locations can handle the expected surge. We just don't uh, bury and forget about it. We're actually taking responsibility and not leaving it for a next generation to do something. Some facilities use anaerobic digestion to turn compost into energy. Cities will be required to buy natural gas made from the product, which supporters hail as climate friendly and economically sensible. It's really easy. I mean, all you're changing is where you're throwing things. It's just another bin. Trash collection fees are expected to increase as local governments invest in new compost operations. I appreciate that we can be making a change without really impacting our lives very much. Though cities like San Francisco already require food waste recycling, many others, including Los Angeles, San Diego, and Sacramento, won't have their programs up and running on time. State reclamation agency Cal Recycle predicts one year of food recycling by 2030 will prevent 14 million metric tons of carbon emissions equal to taking three million vehicles off the road for a year. I think this is a good way we can really just tell the story of food and the fact that we really need to do what's called closing the loop. The food comes from the land and we really should be returning that back to the land. For Market to Market, I'm Josh Bittner.